everybody, welcome to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you again a flip through one of my journals, this is uh, custom made and I hope new owner will like it, uh, it's kind of like gothic, Victorian gothic style, not too dark but I tried, <laughs> I tried to make it as much dark as I could. <laughs> But I'm probably not too good in very dark areas with black laces and very dark theme, which is not related to Halloween. I think that gives me goosebumps. So I made it my way. I used uh, many of pages are hand painted, finger painted. And I used for that uh, these amazing waxes from Prima Marketing. Uh, this Bronze Age and Lucky Emerald. These two are mixed on many of these uh, beautiful, beautiful dies and uh, embossed pieces. And it was hung or finger painted because you have to rub uh, the color on that. And I want to just show you, I hope my camera will take that beautiful patina which is... Uh, these two waxes made on these pieces. It was a very long process. As you will see, there is so many of these pieces, so many of these embellishments with the stuff like that. And uh, it's exactly same process on these frames. So it was quite a long process, but I have to say that I did enjoy it and it looks amazing. At least I think. I also hand painted these um, reinforcers here under under eyelets to match it all together. Uh, I made few flip outs through to this journal. Uh, I also made this uh, kind of like semi-transparent uh, paper or vellum paper. I shared that technique long time ago that I read that technique in very old book, in book from 1905, I think. And it was surprising what they knew at that time. So most of techniques we are using today for our, our journals, they are very long, very old, not very long, <laughs> very old. And I have to say that I really did enjoy that. Uh, this journal doesn't have too many ephemeras yet. They will come in a separate folder that is here. This will be filled with all kind of stuff. And here you can see again that patina. So here will be placed so many uh, ephemeras which should go into this large journal uh, because I wasn't sure uh, what new owner will like so or what pieces I think this should be on new owner to place the pieces on the spots she wants uh, as I said this is custom made it's for uh, for one of my patreons and I did enjoy this journal I was just um, kind of scared of these dark colors. <laughs> so, to make me happy with this journal, I use these gorgeous insect stickers. I love them so much. They are really beautiful. And they look so amazing. As you can see, all my papers, every single page, it's uh, stenciled. And I did uh, also all these coffee stains using my coffee mug actually and coffee I made very strong coffee I sewn these beautiful laces on the edges because it's kind of uh, belongs to that Victorian style we do have few pages like flip out I just like love this style of prints that kind of like negative style of prints so there is lots of space for writing in this journal there are also, there is also this a little booklet with the pocket and some opening here and pocket in there. And again, that uh, stenciling and hand-painted hand these decorative uh, embossed pieces. This is, by the way, embossing folder, which I think it's amazing. It's this one from Sizzix. It's 
3D impress list. And this was designed Katrin Breen. I don't have my reading glasses, but I'm, I'm hoping that I'm, I'm reading that right. Uh, it was designed by Katrin Breen, hopefully. Uh, the number is, let me have a look, here it will be probably better, oh yeah, 665744 Lace Border, sorry I had to zoom my eyes, and it's really beautiful, so gorgeous, look at that, look at that beauty, I just love this embossing folder, and it's here, it's one piece, it's ending right here, this one. So I just uh, put here another end of another piece and I extend it. So again, a lift up page with very grungy uh, tea, dyed, uh, tea dyed papers. And uh, I used also pages from a book with uh, art paintings. Uh, which I think they go with this Victorian style really well. And I did use these beautiful stickers and all kind of washi tapes to decorate my pages. Again, this beautiful black and white print and sewing pages and my hand stamping with my <laughs> coffee mug. And on this uh, black and white print, I used again that wax technique, so it's very transparent and it looks really beautiful. I should do that with every single one, because that black, it's just pop up and it looks much, much better. I forgot to do that with all of them and it does look much, much better. So again, this beautiful embossing piece, hand stenciling and this opening, uh, this can be like tuck spot. book page with this beautiful picture and I do have here this hanging uh, hanging frame and it can be a lift up there is small space for writing I do have pocket here and I do have pocket here and I do have tuck spot here so this can be kind of like stop with uh, some picture I do have a uh, space on these book pages here, maybe to add another envelopes or another pockets. And here I do have another, this beautiful frame. This is also Sizzix. This is, I think, older, older Bix Sizzix die. It's this one. And I can't find what year it was released oh 2010 there you go 2010 it's a frame ornate frame probably 656561 and it's a really beautiful really beautiful frame and with that embossing folder with that embossing fat, uh, effect it looks so stunning and with those uh, waxes from prima marketing it looks really stunning and again, I'm going to take this one like my helper. And again, pockets. Pocket here. And I do have another beautiful sticker here. I do have kind of like a tuck spot here on the bottom. Sewn pages together and uh, using some beautiful washi tape with this style. And again, another sticker. Book page. And again, a lift up page. So this is my kind of like gothic, Victorian gothic. Again, a uh, paper with that wax technique. And as you can see, it's uh, beautifully transparent once you use wax over your prints. And again, that uh, tea dyed, stenciled and stamped, mock stamped paper. And I wanted to say something and I <laughs> forgot. And here again, book page with those uh, old paintings. I do have another kind of like tuck spot here. 
and I used uh, stamps from uh, design at some pool with uh, by some pool. Uh, this is from her second release. Dates of the past, if I'm not mistaken, dates of the past. And again, journaling page under this beautiful layout. This so small page, and again, a little opening. Again, with that beautiful wax technique on this embossed uh, embossed folder. And again, I use that wax to make this picture semi-transparent. Do you have here this small piece? And here I do have a frame. You can get to that pocket from here. And I do have two openings here. It's like tuck spot here and tuck spot here. And pocket and pocket. And again, big space for editing um, maybe some envelopes, another pockets, and another flip out I do have here. And again, with that wax technique and all kind of stuff. So it's here. Lift it up, and I do have opening and opening and pocket here and kind of like small tuck spot here at least i hope so oh i think i glued it all the way and i do have tuck spot here i'm gonna close it later again book page here i do have tuck spot here i didn't forget Here I do have small tuck spot, and here I do have small tuck spot, and I think here as well. Lift up page, and again, beautiful old painting. And here I just print out, uh, I made kind of like a opposite print or mirroring print for this beautiful uh vintage dress and then i glue it uh, over the edge of my page so it looks really cool i i really love this one it looks amazing again we do have this lift up page here journaling pages little embellishment here on the top it's like small victorian small victorian house lift up and here we do have small folder and again this lift up frame this gorgeous lady and here is uh, another kind of like pocket and there is opening here again with space for maybe pictures or some small notes and I do have here this lady and opening down and I do have pocket here pocket here tuck spot here and I do have pocket here in this flip down so there is pocket also from this side and there is pocket or tuck spot from this side so many tuck spots so many pockets <laughs> and again this gorgeous print and here <laughs> I did again that mirroring print so I was able to glue this image together to match it all together uh, then I made these uh, layouts here on the bottom with uh, different textures uh, paper and lace and uh, piece of leather which I sewn first together and then I glue it here so just for you know that texture and then I played with uh, my dice I found in my stuff this beautiful dice of that mask so I place it from this side and it was just shouting to me to put there some feathers so here I placed few feathers because her, her hair 
Look at that. It looks like feathers, so I had to place it there. It was so much fun, this one. And I hope it goes together with those all those colors. So, this is kind of like my gothic, Victorian gothic. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's gothic. <laughs> oh, what did you do here? It kind of like darkish ish Victorian journal and again one more opening here and it will be quite similar with those others we do have a folder here and flip out and we do have opening a uh, folder here and opening here and opening here so large space for placing some memorabilia and it's going down and space here and I do have pocket here and I think I forgot to say I do have large uh, window pocket here at the start so that's my gothic style journal and i do have there that continuing which will be also like a ephemera holder but it's continuing of these pages because i just had too many and uh, i didn't like the thickness when i put them together so i split them uh, to do you know extra one i think i got glued one thread so this is kind of like extension and this will hold all kind of ephemeras and I will place it here. You can see another of that half half uh, picture which I glued together. So this will hold all kind of ephemeras I'm going to send with this journal. Here I made also this uh, beautiful pockets and it does have kind of like very similar style like the journal itself and one more lady here and opening here so this will be the folder and I forgot to say it does have this front pocket here so that this will hold also some ephemeras. So this is my sharing for today, my <laughs> kind of ish gothic <laughs> Victorian style of journal and following folders. I hope you found some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Thank you so much for jumping in. Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me today. Have a beautiful day. Uh, enjoy your time. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I, I am probably already uh, back in Czech Republic visiting my family and sorting things. I have to sort. I have to fly home. Uh, there will be a few more videos uh, before I will come back. I hope you will enjoy those videos as well. Thank you so, so much for all, all your amazing, wonderful support to my, to my channel. I do appreciate that. And I hope you always enjoy, even I'm chaotic sometimes. And uh, <laughs> sometimes I forgot to, to say a few things, which I, I shouldn't. So I hope you do enjoy my channel and I, I will be forever thankful for your support. Thank you so much. Wish me luck to sort out my things back in Czech Republic because it's it's very important for me. Uh, it came just unexpectedly. So right now there will be no tutorials. I don't have a time right now. I'm sorry. And that was my son. He's... He just called me that he's on the way to pick me up to the airport. So, wish me luck. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I hope I will see you soon. Bye.